Okay, we already shot this cricket all the way out to 100 yards, but we forgot to turn the camera on, so Corey's gonna turn around and start from the 75 just to show you, you know, that the gun does shoot extremely well at 75, and then he's gonna take it out to 100. And after that, we're gonna turn around and give our final thoughts, a review and final thoughts about this. Uh, Gen 1 Cricket, Caliber Gun Cricket in 25 caliber. All right, Corey, go All ahead. Right. You may fire away. One and a half. At 75. Mm -hmm. So I can maybe go two and do a neck, another group on the top of that existing group. Well, if you want to. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Fire in the hole. Man, the whole gun just shakes, man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to drop down to one and a half again because two's right at the very top of the target, but they're seeing how it's grouping though. Okay. There ain't no lie. See it there. She's there? Oh, it's right at the top of the target, right where it, com okay. it comes through the plate. Okay. That's okay. This it's, shows how the gun is, uh, whew. just, just lets uh, the world know the gun's very accurate. Oh, insanely accurate. And powerful. All right. Oh, that was me. Okay, now take it out to 100. All right, let's go out to 100. Moving on to the left. There's 100 right there. We said three at 100, right? Yep. Three at 100. So. One, two, and three. This is extra windy out here. This is plate has got a lot of, but a lot of different shots on different spots. Me trying to chase the wind around, but you can see where the mass, the majority of the grouping is at. At three. We can either add to that grouping or we'll see what the wind, what the wind allows us to do down there. There we go, fire in the hole. Check the can, the can's good. Can't, can't. Here we go, 100 yards. Smacking it. Just to the left right there, it's growing. I can see the impact, the point of impact. I got bugs or something dancing on my skull. What's going on over here? All right, let's keep, keep it on, keep it on. Same spot. It's Same like a, spot, huh? You know, it's like a long, elongated teardrop right there, just to the left of center. Did you yes. adjust the scope at all? Huh? You no. adjust the scope? Let me adjust it. Like oh, the yeah, power. when you zeroed at 30, was it right on? Oh, yeah. It was on. Oh, okay. I, I didn't turn the turrets at all. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Cause... No. No turret movement. No, no turret adjustment. Not since you did, no. Okay. Just making them impact spots larger and the movement is me. Okay, all right. There you have it, folks. We're gonna give a, a review and final thoughts on this caliber gun cricket 25 
Power Tune by right. Ernest Rowe, the man himself. himself. Air Guns and Piston Channel. We did some recordings with uh, Crosshairs and corn, Cornfields and Crosshairs right here. He's a special guest on Air Guns and Piston Channel. I've shot this so uh, numerous times, so I want to have let him have an opportunity to shoot a uh, 25 caliber uh, cricket yeah. bullpup. And this one really kicks out the power, you know, because uh, this particular gun has the power plenum mm -hmm. right here. And yeah. it has uh, been tuned by none other than a good friend of mine, a brother from the Philippines like myself, Ernest Rowe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The man that can tune a gun. Filipinos can tune guns, that's for sure. <laughs> so. True. We uh, got some aftermarket stuff that we did to the gun. We got this uh, JB Picatinny rail up here, you know, in the middle here. I did, I'm on a Picatinny rail underneath the, the front stock of this bull pup. We also added the adjustment, and that's uh, from Don, Donnie FL, along with this uh, plate that's mounted in the backs on the side here for the, the Mag lever for the magazines. magazines. Yeah, magazines. And the biathlon levers from, uh, what was that? Papioche, that's who it was that made the biathlon lever here. Comes with four magazines. And what I like about these crickets, Gen 1 crickets, and they extended to the Gen 2s, you got these uh, holders here, and they yeah. hold four magazine, which is just, you know, fantastic, you know, and mm -hmm. and you'll go through, uh, what is it, 12 times four is 40? 40? 48. 48. 48 shots, and you got to refill at the power level that you've seen. Uh, what was the power level on that? That was, hang on, let's uh, bring that up. 53, 56. Okay, 17 shots. It was an average of 9.99, spread of nine, standard deviation of 3.0, mm. and it was 17 shots using 25.39 grains. And I know everybody's gonna say, "Well, I'm shooting too hot." Well, I'll tell you what, it was still accurate. You know, we got the 100 yards at that power, uh, you know, that, at that uh, foot pounds. You know, so we're just gonna leave it at that. That's like roughly 53 or 56 foot pounds of energy. Pretty good. Haven't tried slugs in it yet. I plan on trying it soon, very soon. But um, in any event, the barrel, I've heard a lot of people say that, you know, that, that uh, caliber gun uses all CZ barrels. That's true for the 177 and 22. The 25 and 30 is the LW. Lothar Walter. Lothar Walter barrels. Mm -hmm. And that's what this one has, mm -hmm. not the CZ barrels. Still very accurate. You know, I, I was accurate. skeptical, you know, when, when I first bought this 25 Cricket back in 2017. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had it for a while and I've been meaning to do a review and I finally decided to do a review on this thing and I'm glad I did. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, yeah, it's. Yeah, what a gun. It is a Gen 1. It's not the Gen 2, but... Don't matter. I don't care. Don't this matter. gun shoots lights out, as far as I'm concerned. All the way out to 100 yards. It's a heavy hitter. Oh, yes. Heavy, heavy. So, optic-wise, we have a uh, Vector. Vector Optics. It is a 624 by 50 first focal plane. Marksman, I believe. Yeah, the Marksman series, and it doing its job, so... We're leaving that. It does come with a, a wooden cheek piece. Uh, it is fully shrouded, and we don't need moderator. Moderator, no, don't need it. It's uh, works quite well the way it sits. Trigger pull. We can do a trigger pull test here. Mm. Remove the magazine, so we're not going to fire any live rounds. Mm. Safety. I'm gonna guess one pound. I think one pound. There's your 
First stage followed by the second. 11.3. We'll do ounces. one more. 11.3 <laughs> ounces. Okay. I was off. First. 9.1. Mm. Close enough. Close enough for me. So let's put it this way. It's it's light. Average. Ounces, we'll average it out. Okay, 10.2 ounces. Okay. Sure. There you go. There you have it. You know, that's uh what the gun comes in at. Weight wise. I've always said that this caliber gun, you know, yeah, it can lose lose some pounds. That's for sure. I'm not gonna lie, you know. But hey, you know, if you can shoot a hot sign, you can shoot a caliber gun. Well, but we have people out there, you know, that maybe this this need to do a little exercise. Ten pounds, ten point eight, ten pounds eight ounces is what this gun weighs. Scope, scope with a side wheel. Yep. With your side shot, ounces, mounts, folks, right side shot mounts, right there. Side shot mounts, right there. Okay. Accessories. So, yep. Field ready. Yeah. Ten pounds. Picatinny rail, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, synthetic stock. I didn't t mention that. It is a synthetic. It also comes in wood, a wood stock version as well. Mm. Uh, it's like a soft grip rubber kind of feel to it, though. Yes, the, the barrel length is actually uh, 23.6 inches long. Mm. Uh, it's 12 groove, 17.7 twists. Okay. Okay, 300 bar fill, 350 cc cylinder. Mm. You got a fill probe up there, manometer is up at the business end, you know, and I know a lot of people, you know, it tends to bother them, it doesn't bother me, you know, that it's up there in the business end, but, you know. Uh, Got adjustable trigger, you know, it's a very nice gun. Overall length is uh, 33.1 inches long. Still short enough to get around a farm with or something like that. Yes. So now for the th things that I don't like, things I don't like about this gun. And you don't like things about this gun? Well, no. There's some things about it that. I don't like. Could be better. It could be better. The rear cocking on this gun. Mm. Same as the it's tie pan. Tie pan. It's just, you know, it's right up. No love right for there. the lefty. Right. You know. It, <laughs> but Cricket finally listened. Yeah. And now they have a new Cricket Two that moves the cocking lever to right in here in the, in the center part of the gun where, which is where it should be and and the lever our lever the cocking lever is reversible yeah that left-handed shooting again so that's the part that i enjoy about this the the caliber gun finally listened because uh i have two other guns that are the argus 45 which is uh, forward cocking which you can have the lever from right to left vice mm. versa and I just picked up the tactical 60 which is also the same mm. and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do the review but I'm gonna try to get it in before I uh, go on a long vacation I'm gonna try to work that in not a dirt nap right not, not, a dirt dirt nap. <laughs> not that kind of long vacation but that's the only gripe that I have about this gun is the cocking well otherwise from that the gun is very accurate hmm. can i say like lights out accurate yeah or, or uh yeah. laser Heavy hitter. beam accurate or, uh, accurate or, or uh you know just phenomenal accuracy out of this gun mm -hmm. so definitely your money's worth on these oh yeah definitely your money's worth yeah now th this cricket here is never gonna leave me you know yeah. this will be in my collection for years to come because of uh how great this gun is oh it's just uh something great to have in the collection in the, yeah the quiver yeah for oh, yeah yeah doing work it's a, definitely a working gun oh yeah i mean you could make it a target gun but that'd be kind of doing a disservice to this thing because it just is right weird. right i think it's hunting pesting ready you know so what's your overall okay uh 
Corey, what, what, you know, you shot the gun, and what's your overall impression of this gun? My impression think? is it's, it's the same thing with a little bit of subtle differences as the uh, Cricket 177 same gen that I shot that Ken has also. Lights out accurate. I love the stock. I love the, the grooves and the foregrip, the width of it. You know, it fits my hands really well. The uh, grip is really nice, fits my hand really well. Even though it doesn't seem like it'll have enough space here, it does. Uh, my Peaky Rides here, pretty pretty decent, you know. Not as comfortable as a Taipan Veteran, but still fits, still does the job. I love the tactile feel and the grip of the, of the synthetic stock. The trigger blade here, trigger is, as we saw, 10, 11 ounces. Very predictable, light. Um, touches off without without any hesitation any creep uh real nice trigger i love the wide profile on the blade um the mag holders in the rear um very helpful when you're like on a farm doing pesting or something like that or if you're out farther away from your vehicle and you don't want to have to carry a bunch of rattling pellets around yeah there's there's uh they make some some other models too uh, let me uh just jump in real sure, quick sure sure with uh the new uh, Cricut 2 still utilizes the four magazine holder, but there's also some other uh, uh, style stocks that the uh, Caliber Gun makes, you know, that right. incorporates uh, a mag holder. I think it's uh, the in slot. The, or in the bottom. In I the think bottom, I think, yeah. Like a hot sun yeah. Sometime. So, yeah, something like that, you know, it's mm -hmm. either in the bottom or it's through a slot. I'm not really sure, you know, because I don't have the exact, I don't have that model. Uh, you know, with me, so I couldn't right. tell you, but I believe that's what they're using, you know, for those uh, guys that don't like this piece right here, mm -hmm. you know, mag holder, but I, I, lo I, I love, love it. it. It's easy to work with. Just, you, I usually learned that you, when you want to work with it, you want to hold the gun down when you're working with them because they fall in this way. You push them out the back here, so they come out the back like this, very yeah. easy. Yeah, that's, that's so a good point. When I was at the farm, I was holding the 177, I'm holding it down just like this, so that they, they don't fall out on the ground, they go in, they slide right in, and you're good to go. So you don't have to worry about fumbling. Come out very easily, back in very easily. So um, I like this, I like this a lot. Um, the gun is not too long. It's not too long for a 25 and a big heavy hitter like this, it's, it's awesome, it's not too long. You still get that 23 inch barrel, which as Ken said, we will be slugging this barrel and putting some slug to this thing because it is well capable, has the barrel length, and can do it. Has I mean, it, the FPS too, the yeah, power it's got to push the, it. got the power, pushing over a thousand feet per second, you know. Um, it's got the power with the plenum on here. This gun can do it. So this would yet be another uh, slug gun, very capable of getting those pigeons way up in that, uh, on the top of the silo, you know. that's. 60 80 yards 100 yards yeah, 100 yards, yards up. yeah i think this gun right here is the answer to that um amongst other guns also but this one here particularly in the 25 caliber with this length can easily get that job done you'll be dropping pigeons off the top of that no problem at all oh, or yeah. anything out at distance where you just need that power and you need that 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 weight and the heavy hitting down range this gun can provide that for you so Really nice, really nice gun. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's nothing you can bet you can say about it. it. Cycles really well. Do I like the cycling back here? Not particularly, but it's easy. Like I said, usually I hold the gun down a lot when I'm cocking, rear cocking here for me, just because also I can mess with the mags and all the other stuff anyway. So it's kind of all in this area, which but you do have to take it off target to bring it down to kind of, I mean, you can do it here also. Other guys do too, and I have done it also myself. Is it ideal? No. Right. But does it leave room for improvement for caliber gun? Yes, which they already did and moved it forward. Yes, so Either way works really well cycles really well. The gun is just awesome Thanks for letting me shoot it. I oh, it. yeah, no problem. That's good. That's you know, bro Anything in my uh, in my uh, inventory that I have, you know, yeah. you're more than welcome to come over and shoot that gun Yeah, man, it just it put any gun faces. I have, you know, yeah, you know, that's what they're for man to do work Not to sit and just uh, to be admired Although we can do that right now because they're admirable guns. Oh, yeah. So can't go wrong with a caliber gun. That's right. So that's it for uh, the air guns and Peston channel. Until yeah. next time, you folks uh, stay safe, shoot straight, shoot straight, and may your pellet hit its target. And we'll see you on the next episode. Take it easy. See ya.